Armenia and Azerbaijan battle through militants sent by Turkey and Iran. Allegedly. Gotta add that allegedly. We have Armenia and we have Azerbaijan. And you can see these two here in the... Let's uh, move this on over here. and This is a little bit bigger there. There you go. Here you see. Got Armenia over here. You got Azerbaijan over here. Armenia here. Azerbaijan. And you'll notice up above here, you got Mother Russia with her little finger going down over here. Got Georgia right here. And on to the to the west here, or yeah, to the uh, west we have Turkey, and then we have Iraq with the uh, with a little bit of an element here, and we have Azerbaijan, and we have Armenia. We have Armenian ethnic Armenians and Azerbaijanis, and then we have all these outside players that have vested interest in this. Uh, this kind of tweener region between the the northern Asian and the southern Asian theaters here. So it's an important kind of uh, tweener zone. And it's very mountainous. So it's a necessary area for anyone to secure that hopes to have any kind of significant hegemonic uh, authority in this region. And so, largely, these are ruled through their the influence of the various uh, foreign powers that uh, <clears throat> give these countries money, and in exchange, do their bidding as far as uh, exercising their own foreign policies, which favor the countries that are uh, paying for their little mini citadelian classes to uh, live their their lifestyles of choice. I mean, that's the naked and uh, raw truth, such as I see it. Reports that uh, Turkey <coughs> is transferring Syrian militants to Azerbaijan. Ew, didn't want to do that. What the heck? No, I don't want to do that. I don't know what I did there. Reports Turkey is transferring Syrian militants to Azerbaijan as hostilities against Armenia increase. The Armenian sides are in total control of the situation. We are confident in our capacities to protect Armenia and Artsakh and to ensure the security and rights of the Armenian people in their homeland, an Armenian foreign ministry spokesperson exclusively told Greek City Times. Credible reports have emerged that Turkey is transferring its militant proxies based in northern Syria to Azerbaijan as tensions and skirmishes with Armenia rapidly increase. Turkey does not remember. Turkey's not really a big fan of Armenia, just, just to let you know. Award-winning journalist Lindsay Snell, who was once kidnapped by Turkish-backed terrorists in northern Syria and then thrown into a Turkish jail for two months after escape from Syria, wrote on Twitter that fighters from the Hamza division had arrived in the Azerbaijan capital of Baku via Turkey. Yeah, she does not like the Turkeys. I, I can tell you that. She is uh, from, I mean, man, dang, dang. Dang, this woman. I mean, listen. I don't mean that in any military sense. This is like, okay, this is like mad respect. Okay, you just go out there and keep pushing it and just... All right. Mad respect. <clears throat> From Hamza Division Source, supposedly, these Hamza men arrived in Baku today via Ankara. Well, at least they're all wearing masks. And look, they look friendly. Earlier this year, the Hamza Division were exposed for holding naked and abused women in prison. They are made up mostly of Arabs and Turkmen and have become a movable proxy force for the you know, like the Young Turks. Look at the Young Turks. Young Turks. Cenk Younger could be on that plane with them if he was a little younger. But he's not that younger. Younger. Isn't it really? Younger. 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 younger young Turks. Cenk. It's like if New Kids on the Block was uh, still together and still calling themselves New Kids on the Block. So it's like kind of what... Never mind. That's a tangent. Earlier this year... That's a tangent. Earlier this year, the Hamza division were exposed for holding naked and abused women in prison. They made up 
mostly of Arabs and Turkmen and have become a movable proxy force for Turkish President Recap Tayyip Erdogan. Everybody needs their gang of thugs. It's like the, the American DNC. I'm just going to call them the DNC because they really are right-wingers. I'm telling you, the DNC are right-wingers. They use all the leftist language and appeal to all the leftist causes. But they're right-wingers. The DNC is right-winger. So uh, the, 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 the right-winger of the, of the DNC, <laughs> they have their, their thugs that uh, they're in, inspiring to, to do what these... Allegedly, these folks are, are designed to do, which is, is to break things. Set things on fire, break things, kill, maim, destroy. Do whatever you can get away with, basically. When asked on Twitter whether most of the fighters going to Azerbaijan are coming from Syria or Libya, Snell revealed they are mostly coming from Syria, but that around 70 militants had also been in Libya. Syria, though, around 70 of these men were in Libya until recently. Wow, she just in it, man. She just in it. Defense Ministry, arguments on alleged transfer of militants from Syria to Azerbaijan. Not true. Not true. Nope, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. This is from Baku, Azerbaijan. Azerbaijani Defense Ministry expressed its attitude towards the biased article published in the electronic version of the Russian Nezavizmaya Gazeta. Oh, wow, that's a name. I like it, though. Nezavismaya. 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 Nezavismaya Gazeta. Nezavismaya Gazeta. That probably means... Uh, well, Gazeta. I know Gazeta. That's, that just means like... Uh, like... Uh, uh, this is a, 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 a proclamation. Daily proclamation. Kind of... You know, because that, I don't know what this is. This means, I don't know what that means. I wish, you know what? Let's find out what this means because it's a cool word. I love the sound of it, even though, I, well, I don't know the sound of it. <laughs> Neza Visamaya, Neza Visamaya. Let's find out Neza Visamaya because I think it's worth a, it's worth a Neza Visamaya because it's a Russian daily mi newspaper. Okay, it's uh, Neza Visamaya, Neza Visamaya. What does uh, Nesavisamaya mean? All right. All right. All right. You're not going to tell us. Okay. Russian. Uh, independent newspaper. Okay. So Gazette is just newspaper. And uh, so there. So there you go. It's independent newspaper. And I think that... Nezavisamaya. Nez ne no, no, they're independent newspaper. Look, it's, uh, how you kind of call them? Uh, it, look, the name of their is independent newspaper. Clearly, they're not on Putin's payroll. Clearly. <laughs> the, Russian the Russian newspaper published an article entitled Syrian fighters in Azerbaijan are preparing for a blitzkrieg in Armenia and presented information that was completely untrue. The author of the article, man, oh man. I mean, like, you kind of like kind of swinging dangerous it's like these azerbaijanis i don't know are you are you emboldened by the don't go down the turkish uh, line azerbaijan seriously bad move bad move rising bad move bad move listen russia's the real meal deal don't don't mess with them i'm just saying pragmatically you're kind of taking a swing at the russians kind of not 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 good and see, the Russians are really going to read this more, more not so much the Azerbaijanis. It's like, hmm, Turkey, I see that your little, uh, your little lap puppy is somehow feeling emboldened to, to talk smack to us and uh, call us basically liars in one of our alleged independent newspapers that's really on our payroll, because of course it is, is, uh, is being smacked down by the Azerbaijani defense minister. That can only mean that Turkey, you must be sending messages to them. What's up with that, bro? What's up with that? You want them missiles? You want them uh, SR whatever 400 missiles? The anti anti plane missiles? Anti uh, air defense missiles? Well, this ain't gonna cut it, son. This is not. This is this is not making us feel like we uh, we share a sea peacefully. You know, I'm just. Yeah, I just a little bit uh, concerned that there might be some some bad blood there, some some issues that uh, we got to consider. I mean, you just check out where we're uh, where we're integrated here. You see that right there? You see that big old honka honka 
big old blue look you see how most of that is you see what see what that is i got i got we got listen man we got ukraine up in here we got us though man we're here we're all up in here we're swimming all up in here and we see you we see you dude i'm just saying we see you see that's what's up that's what's what that's what's what in the coconut and uh i'm not sure that the <sighs> Well, I'm not sure that uh, the uh, the defense minister here has uh, gotten the memo. But then we go on the other side here. Look at this. PKK's involvement in the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict would jeopardize European security. And uh, the alarming reports that Armenia has been relocating Kurdistan Working Party PKK terrorists, terrorists from Syria and Iraq to the occupied territories of nagorno uh, Karabakh to prepare for future hostilities and train Armenian militants is news of the sort that should keep you awake at night, not only in Azerbaijan, but also in Europe, writes James Wilson. Nagorno-Karabakh Nagorno-Karabakh is a disputed territory internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but mostly governed by the Republic of Artsakh, formerly named the Nagorno-Karabakh Karabakh uh, Republic, a de facto independent state with an Armenian ethnic majority established on the basis of the Nargano Karabakh Autonomous Oblast. And let's see. See this here. Republic of. Uh, gosh, guys. There we go. The Republic of Arta. Officially, the Republic of Artsakh, or the nagano karabakh Republic, is a breakaway state in the South Caucasus that is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan. So, so this is Artsakh. And it does, they don't even, look, they, they just give you nagorno karabakh and they don't even give you a, a, a specific delineation exactly. Where are we looking at here? I'm not sure exactly where they're saying this place is, but it's uh it's basically it's a disputed region in the mountain area somewhere I think around here. I could be wrong, but I believe that's where we're talking about, somewhere around here. And Armenia is claiming basically this is really about Armenia taking a, a piece of the pie of Azerbaijan and Russia's not disinterested in that. And I think that Russia... Well, I don't know exactly what Armenia's general relationship with Russia, but as I understand it, it's pretty it's pretty okay. And certainly Armenia has a big interest to be cozy with Russia, given the nature of Turkey and uh, Russia's... Uh, Russia's more than willingness to keep Turkey in a nice little box. So... I think that Armenia would have an interest in being cozy with Russia. And the Azerbaijanis, which have a little bit more, as I understand it, a little bit more ties to the type of Islamic, uh, well, more militant type of Islam that that is coming out of that region that is uh, importing bad things to uh, Russian territories. I think the Russians are inclined to lean towards the Armenians. They're Christians. And so, got that element going on. And it's interesting that we have what 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 I find, I mean this, if you can find such a thing's amusing, dark, dark amusing, amusing about this is the way that you have, now here you have the op-ed, by the way, from Armenia, why the Azerbaijani media pushes sensational articles on Kar Karabakh. Uh, one after another, sensational materials have appeared in the Azerbaijan media that thousands of Kurdish militants are being transferred from Iraqi Kurdistan through Ar and to Armenian or Karabakh. Karabakh. Earlier, it was reported that after the explosion in Beirut, thousands of Armenians were moving from Lebanon to Karabakh in order to change the demographic map of the region. There is no evidence to support this, so there you see the whole, the whole dynamic there, and everybody's reporting there, there's... There's uh, there's militants being sent in. There's terrorists. Everybody's terrorists. You know, like like what's going on in America? It's interesting. There are people that are looking at the BLMers and the Antifa, and they're calling them terrorists. They're calling them insurgents, and they're looking at the 
uh, the militia groups as conscientious American citizens defending American homes and businesses from terrorists. And they're right. Well, they're right within the framework of their preference. <laughs> and then you have uh, the folks that look at the Antifa's and the BLMers as being the noble resistance to to evil racists and whatever bigots and whatever and uh you the the militia groups are white supremacists terrorists and uh insurrectionists and it's really the government the federal government itself at this point it is kind of the terrorist and uh yeah so everybody has a i'm not whatever you think about that issue uh uh everybody has a definition of terrorist and very rarely is it shared certainly not shared amongst uh, competing factions competing factions will invariably define terrorist in in very different ways basically he who was against me and is willing to kill me over it that's a terrorist he who is not against me and is willing to kill others that are against me is a freedom fighter is a resistance fighter is a noble and, and I say he because it's a, uh, it's like ninety five plus percent he's that are the people that we're talking about when it comes to killing and dying in these affairs. I mean, yeah. Well, maybe not the dying. Actually, I should take that back. In the killing part, killing. Then again, maybe not so much. There's a lot of female suicide bombers, but. Uh, I don't know. I think it's probably significantly high numbers of he's both dying and uh, and killing in this affair. I could be wrong, but at any rate, there you have it. I think uh, I think that's about all I got to say about this. Uh, keep your eye on yet another hotbed that could uh, set things off. Armenia and Azerbaijan. Just another. Just another little uh, tinderbox with a whole bunch of outside powers with a vested interest to uh, seek to uh, use these uh, nation states as uh, kind of like dead bodies that they put their hands up their butts and kind of move. That's how we powerful nation states create nation treat nation states like these and it's universal it's not exclusive to america every nation state and believe you me if azerbaijan and armenia were in the exact same position they would do the same thing there's no nobility amongst nation states trust me it is what it is it's a it's a violent ruthless uh it's a blood sport <laughs> and i think uh unless and until you realize it's all a blood sport then you'll be taken up with the uh the angels and demon shrilleries that keep us from coming to see how how fundamentally violent the whole system itself inherently is, no matter which faction is in charge. But that, <sighs> no one's going to listen to me, so I'm just going to report the news. I report and you decide. Have a great the rest of your day because, you know, hey, why not?